My name is Maria Cepeda. I am a, I am a Spanish scientist. Okay, I am from Madrid. Hi, I'm I'm Lucas. I'm from Greece. I'm working throughout the, my scientific career at CMS. Hello, my name is Lorenzo Bianchini. I'm Italian and I'm 34 years old. Uh, I think it's, it's, it's a privilege to be here. Now, apart from this, there are many advantages also. You know, I, I travel a lot to present my work and this gives me the opportunity to visit places that probably I wouldn't have visited otherwise. Last year, we managed to announce uh, for the first time uh, the discovery and observation of the GTH production. And so it was really uh, very important. Uh, it was a milestone in, uh, in particle physics. I've also spent a lot of time in the control room, helping in the operation of the system. That is actually one of the parts of my work of CMS that I've enjoyed most. Because being in the control room and working with everybody and making sure that we are taking the data, that we are allowing something that is not only for my own study but for everybody, gives a sense of community uh, that I actually love. I mean, it's, I think it's one of the coolest parts of working in CMS. Curiosity, I think it's, for me, it's, it's I mean, that's, I think it's something that defines who I am. And I think it also defines many of the people here. We are curious, we want to know, we want to learn. So if you are young and, and you really want to learn about the world, it doesn't need to be particle physics, it just needs to be something. Uh, exploit that because it's really, it's really fantastic. Not to be scared by the scale of the, of the, of the experiment. You should never be scared to bring uh, forward the new ideas, new concepts, which sometimes may also go against the mainstream, but that's part of the game. For young scientists, I would advise them to work extremely hard, to be very passionate and uh, believe in themselves. It's not easy, but certainly it pays off. Also, in order to be successful, one has to uh, needs breakthroughs in many areas, like in computing, in, in hardware development, in analysis tools, in techniques. And this gives us a very uh, diverse uh, set of skills that can be very important also for those that uh, people that decide to work at some point in their career, work outside the, the field of physics.